What is going on, Gunners? Just go here, and today we are going to max spin for Genghis Khan. He's on the wheel. We're gonna live stream. We're gonna level him up a bunch too, probably. That's a thing we're gonna do. I am super pumped. We're traveling internationally, but whatever. We're gonna make a live stream work. That's a thing we can do, right? Hey, hey AB to Beast in the chat already. He's ready for this. I'm ready for this. This is amazing. This is amazing. Now, we're about to do Guardians too, which is kind of exciting. We're going to get a bunch of experience, and we're going to see if we can really quickly unlock this guy, then run our way over to do all the shrines with everybody else in our alliance, which is pretty sweet. Stream Lurker, what's going on? Steve, how's it going? Welcome to the party. Whew. We saw... We saw Khan was on the wheel, and we made a beeline to go and stream now. So reset. We're ready. We were going to stream Hell Mode of Karak Ceremony, but that that got weird. <laughs> Our Karak got cut a little short unintentionally, I think. So hopefully, I think, I'm pretty sure Lilith will take care of that. Uh, so chat's pouring in. What's up, Chiss? Kingdom 96 now officially has 20 T5 players. Awesome, dude. Three players over 100 million power. That's amazing. The, you know, the weird thing about the way migration is working is that basically the kingdoms that already have the highest power players can snowball in a way that other kingdoms cannot. Anyways, here we go. First guy is in. Time to battle some guardians and get some sweet sweet experience then we're going to spin the wheel spin the wheel i miss my free to play t4 account uh yeah i mean you can still use your t4 account you can migrate to literally almost any kingdom you want any kingdom you want nigel says to be careful of kingdom 52 they're still announcing that we're not allies what are they announcing about us? I like I, I had a chat with Slouty and I was like, hey, like I don't know why there's beef and I think everything's good between us now. Anyways, I don't know. We we have declared no enemies in KVK. So I don't know where that comes from. Hulk Hogan going to bust or something? Um, I mean, we are going to go ham on Genghis Khan, who's on the wheel. Here he is. He's on the wheel. That's going to happen. We're just cranking out that sweet, sweet daily experience. Good morning, Codet Gaming. Good morning, one and all. Hey, Corey. Thanks much for the $1 super chat. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, we're still waking up ourselves. We've got tea brewing. Oh, I got to push the button. We got tea brewing. Feeling pretty good about that. We're going to pick up a bunch of goodies. We still haven't done any of the daily stuff. So we got to go get our VIP goodies. We got to go get, I don't know, what's in here? <laughs> the daily offer. Bada boom. Supply depot. Boom. Loving that 30 day gem supply. We're going to battle this guy. Then we're going to start spinning. Then we're going to start spinning. Hey, Corey, thanks for the additional $1 super chat. Much appreciated. Boom. Killing events right now. Um, Mighty Governor is next week for us. That's when we'll have a kill event. So that is a thing that is coming. It's not here yet. Man, we've not gotten a good rune in a while to do a kingdom buff. What do we got here? Gold gathering speed? Come on. Anything? Nothing? All right. I haven't even looked at what the other events are for today. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to send these guys off, and we're going to start spinning the wheel. So here we go. Boom. These guys can all go reinforce this. Boom. Now, it's wheel time, baby. It's wheel time. It's wheel time. I just rolled out of bed. AB to beast to sort of answer your question. 
Um, did other kingdoms have the glitch in the Karak Ceremony? Yes, our Karak Ceremony was glitched. Let's see if it's on the event calendar. So I'll see it was only one day. It was supposed to be three days. It incorrectly terminated early. Pretty sure they're going to take care of that. and Hopefully we get another one. That's my hope. But what do we got down here? Ooh, Lord of War. Ooh, we got to do a troop training kingdom buff. That's a thing. That is a thing we got to do. Then we got Mighty Army. All right. We got to set our time for Ark of Osiris. We'll do that. Let's start spinning the heck out of this wheel. Yes, here we go. Here we go. What's going on, War Machine? Welcome to the chat. Let's start spinning. Let's start spinning. First up, free spin. We gotta take the free spin. Where do we land? That is amazing. <laughs> that was basically perfect. That's possibly the second best thing on there. I'm pretty sure it is. So that's a good start. Now, these individual spins kind of don't matter a lot because we're gonna five spin. What's? I think I just wanna do five spins. Because I only get 60 chances, right? And the 50% off spin is going to count toward one of those chances I get. And I'm better off with just the five spins, right? If I do a 50%, which is 400, how much the individual spins? I can't remember. Let's just start with the five spots. We'll decide that at the end. Spam the button. Let's do it. I, didn't, I wasn't even looking. Ooh, I got a con. Nice. Research speed-ups, this is good. Research speed-ups again? Oh, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is good. I didn't even look here. What do we get here? Five cons at the 10 mark. At the 25 mark, we get five legendary commander sculptures. All right. 10 cons at the 45 mark. So, I mean, con is coming today. And then 10 and then 15 all the way at the end. Okay, cool. Sweet. Let's keep spinning. This is awesome. Here we go. Where are we going to hit the eight spot? Is that a thing that's going to happen? Two gold stars. I love that. We really need gold stars now. There was once a time where I thought I didn't need lots of gold stars. Now I'm buying tons of gold stars from the VIP shop. I mean, if this isn't the dream, if this isn't the dream, what is? What is? Two legendary commander sculptures, the 15-hour speed-ups, three of them, and the two gold stars. Yeah, we're doing it, baby. We are doing it. Okay, now we claim this. Boom. Okay. I mean, let's keep spinning. How long do we have before? Do are we down? All right, we back? We're cool. I'm cool. You're cool. Are we good? Are we good? <laughs> Son of a gun. I just went to claim my VIP 15 rewards, and they're so epic that I uh, must have crashed the, <laughs> crashed the stream. All right, we're cool. We're cool. I got 214 of consecutive days of logging in. Which is pretty sweet. Um, what else we need to do? Daily stuff. Campaign. Uh, expedition. We'll claim all this. Boom. 6.2k. Oh, baby. Look at this. Look at this. We're definitely going to get this. We're definitely going to get this. We'll hit refresh. Oh, my gosh. The gold stars. Yo, stream, you're good luck. Stars, 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 stars. <laughs> but sing that to the tune of shots. Stars, 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 stars. Okay. I mean, I don't normally 100 gem refresh because you're watching. I will. Oh, Cleo. You guys are good luck today. You guys and gals are really good luck today. 
Okay, well, that was really fun. A Cleo's worth 100 gems. Legit. That's super worth. That is super worth. Let's spin the freaking wheel. Here we go. Technically, we could unlock Genghis Khan right now, but I'm going to wait till a little bit later because I think we're going to stream for at least another hour here, and I want to be able to purchase the pack for unlocking a legendary. So let's spin this baby five times. What do we get? Rocks and training speed ups. Yes. Genghis Khan. There it is. And legendary commander sculpture and research speed ups. I mean, this, this is really good. All we need to do to get really good loot is to travel to a foreign country. That's, that is the answer to how we do this. That's how we do it. <laughs> Day says, don't steal all my luck. I mean, these spins are the truth. They are the truth. They are the truth. Hey, there's one thing I need to do here. I forgot to take care of. Let's see here. So I was kinged. So I got to upgrade Fleisch to R4 and make him the Warlord. Bada boom. Bada boom. We're looking pretty good. Uh, I think I'm up to like s somewhere in the 60s for gold sculptures right now. Total. Um, ooh, Iron Horse, thanks for the gold chest. I think, I mean, like, I think feel like we're averaging at this point something like 15, 10 to 15 gold chests a day, pretty easy. So that's pretty sweet. The biggest migrators haven't come over yet because they can't. Hey, Runner X, thanks for the gold chest. Woo, what do we get? <laughs> oh, VIP. All right, well, it was a nice thought. Uh, claim these guys. Boom. Is Saladin in our mighty governor? Yeah. Um, that's a thing. That's Sally right there. Sally's in that mighty governor. So we're going to have to be thinking about how we get Sally. <sighs> yeah, we're going to have to be thinking about that. Hey, Chiss, my friends have completely unlocked, I assume this is Khan. It said his expertise skill is OP, and he melts five forts faster than Mina and Tsao Tsao. I believe it. Double Strike is good. Double Strike has always been really good in video games. <laughs> when I played World of Warcraft, had a sword spec, Double Strike was good. Here we go. Five spin. What do we get? What do we get? Genghis Khan. And something I didn't see. And Genghis Khan. Uh, and more legendary commander sculptures. And the double star. I mean. Chat, this is the dream. This is the dream. We are doing it. We're super doing it. This is amazing. We're getting all the legendary sculptures we wanted. I'm pretty sure we've got the unlock at this point. Yeah, there he is, if we want to summon him, which we don't just yet. Just yet, we don't. We will soon. Uh, what we want to do instead is keep spinning. We got 40 more spins to do today, uh, and we're going to probably spin beyond the max number of chances. Like, we're going to max our spins every single day, probably. Uh, gold? That's less exciting. <laughs> That's less exciting. And building speed ups. So we got a little wrecked here. We got a little wrecked. We spent 3,600 gems. The Dazzling Starlight Sculptures are worth maybe 200 or 400 gems. And the Khan is worth 2,000. So this, this spin, we got kind of wrecked. Not totally, but like, it wasn't the best. But good news is that because of these little boosters, I mean, we're cruising, baby. We're cruising. Rolling in the Gettys. Rolling in the goodies. We just had a Richard Wheel in our kingdom. And in one five spin, you got the eight spot of sculptures twice. Wow. And three singles for a total of 19. No, you didn't. I don't believe it. No way. If I use the 50% spin, is that actually good value? Because is that better than the... If I use the 50% on four single spins, is that better than the, the five spot? I mean, maybe I'll just do the... 
Maybe I won't do every single spin I can do today. Maybe that's the play. Let's spin it again. Let's spin it again. What do we got? Genghis Khan. We're doing it. And more Genghis Khan. And double stars. And Genghis Khan. I mean... <sighs> wow. This is really good. This is really, really good. This is really exceptional. How are we doing on timing? We got time. All right. This is very exceptional. Let's uh, spin again. Five spot. Here we go. We got... Oh, building speed ups. No. Stars are good. Rocks are fine. Gold is less fine. All right. Well, that's a pretty average. Below, I, actually, this is the below average spin. This is the below average spin, which is all made fine by the fact that we're getting these chest rewards as we go. All made fine because we have these chest rewards. Now, I should give some advice here. If you're spinning for this event, you want to be really careful. If you're limited on gems, which we are not because we've been spending like a madman and probably more spending to come, um, then you want to wait if you're going to do a bunch of spins until later in this event so that if a more than gems event hits, it aligns with your gem spending. That's the key. Any whales migrating to my kingdom? Yes. I don't want to count my whales before they migrate. What's the, what's the metaphor I'm looking for? Whales are a migratory species, though, aren't they? Like, they actually are migratory in real life. <laughs> Am I making that up? Um, anyways, we got some serious whales coming. Um, and once they come, everybody else can migrate over for cheap. So we're just kind of waiting for those whales to arrive, which is pretty exciting. We got another two minutes here, which means we have time for more spins. <laughs> here we go. Some sort of speed up. What kind was that? Research speed ups. Cool. And wood. And <laughs> uh, I keep looking at chat instead of at the game. But we got we got great stuff. Two Genghis Khans. The double stars. The research speed ups. I mean, we're doing it. We're doing it. We are doing it. I don't know how many sculptures we're going to end up with of this guy by the time the event ends. It should be a lot. The problem is that because we're going for Saladin, like, I don't... Ooh, another gold chest. Dude, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Look at this. VC, the gold chest. We, we get 10 to 15 gold chests a day easy, and the biggest whales have not arrived yet. And there's a lot of them. So... This is pretty good. Sweet. Thank you, Thesi, for the gold chest. Yay. <laughs> this is Kingdom 51. Drixen, what's going on? Um, Connor Shipman, I would not want to go against your kingdom in KVK. Honestly, my, our default posture is going to be diplomacy in KVK. Um, so, like, let's chat about diplomacy if that's the thing you want to chat about. And, like, if a kingdom decides that they want to war with us, then I mean, like, yeah, we'll be fierce. Ooh, more gold chests. Woo! <laughs> Thanks, DC. <laughs> Yay, gold chests. Okay. Uh, yeah, our, I think our power minimum now for Legion, like, it looks like we have open slots. We do not. We do not. Our recruiting minimum, yeah, it's 40 million now, and it, I probably should set it higher. Um... Trixon wants to go to war with me. <laughs> well, I've missed you too, man. Thanks for modding. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> Kill event time where you are. That's pretty sweet. Do we have time for one more five spot? Do we have time for a five spot? Uh, we do. Karuma's is running a little late, but that's okay. We got time for a five spot. Here we go. Five spins. 3,600 gems. I mean, we've been getting really good value, I feel like, from this. Rocks and... All right. Con. Con again. Wood and food. Cool. Cool. Seems good. Seems good. Do you think you have a chance in KVK versus Shifty of K50? I mean, I would hope that we're not 
battling with Shifty. I, w I mean, you know, we're kind of chatting with a bunch of kingdoms. There's a, there's a, whatever. There's a chat with all the kings of all the kingdoms. So, I mean, I don't know. We'll see. Have I seen Kingdom 49? If not, check them out. Let's, let's check this out. What goodies do we get here? Ten Gon Sculptures. <laughs> We're doing it. We're doing it. What are we up to? We're up to 30, which is pretty good. Still not, to, not enough to max the first skill, and I think we're going to save our sculptures to do... I mean, I think we're going to save our sculptures to do Saladin rather than Khan as the first one that we focus on. Is it possible to get Julius on the wheel? No, Julius has never shown up on the wheel. Julius has never shown up on the wheel. Let's just check here how we're doing for timing. Three minutes, which means we got time for another five spot. Here we go. And rocks. And cool, Khan. And food. And building speed ups. And building speed ups. Now this, this spin was not good. <laughs> The spin did not go well for us. The resources we only sort of need. The building speedups we really don't need at all. I don't know what we would say the value was for us here. Not great, though. Not great. Yikes. Uh, let's do one more five spot. Here we go. One more five spot. Genghis Khan. And... Legendary Commander Sculpture, and Wood, and Stars, Genghis Khan. I mean, that's a great spin. North of 6,500 gems worth of value for 3,600 gems. Now we're going to do our 50% spin. Bada boom. Oh, and I still get, I still have chances today. Boom. Dazzling Starlights. So we can still do another five spot. Let's do another five spot. Here we go. Well, hold on. Timing. Is everybody here? How are we doing? Kroom is in one minute. All right. I'm going to let everybody know. We start when Kuruma is here. One minute. One minute on the shrines. So we're getting kind of insane amounts of experience right now. So we bring five armies. We bring smaller armies. I don't even know who the heck to bring. Thankfully, you know, we're going to hopefully unlock Saladin soon. Uh, and we're going to get, we're going to get uh, Khan fired up in the rotation here, getting these guys leveled up. So that's going to be really good. If I think you're doing Khan kind of perfectly, I think you want to max the first skill, max probably the second skill. Then between these, it kind of depends on what you think your situation is more going to be. I think you can start to level them up. Uh, do I want Khan to be the primary or the secondary? You kind of want him to be a primary because of the rage requirement reduction. And the cavalry and skill trees are totally great as the combination. So I, I want to get to a place where he can be a primary commander. I just know that I'm not there yet, but I'm going to start leveling him up. Um, I was working on Freddy. We got our Freddy up to... Oh, good. Karim is here. All right. Let's roll. Let's roll. Here we go. All right. Shrine group, follow me. Here we go. There's the follow me. Cool. We're cruising. Everybody brings a very small number of units to this. Um, let's see. 65k. What's that? 45k. So they don't die so fast that most players can actually get to the combat before it dies. Bada boom. Send all these guys. I love, by the way, that they added this button. Well, I already clicked past it. You can have them hold position after the attack. It's so good. It's so good. Um, but right now, we're not using that. What I recommend instead as your strategy is you've got your shrine. Have everybody go to the shrine, then send them out. And then 
they walk back toward the shrine as kind of a default after they kill an army, which is almost always the right direction. I guess in this case it won't be, but whatever. It's good enough. We got some runes dropping here. Nothing special. Cool. Cool. We got somebody asking for scientist. We can hook that up. We can hook that up. All right. Next one is in. We're going to battle here. Jeez, most players did not get to that one. That's interesting. Do we have someone with a big army, maybe? Maybe that's what's going on. Okay. Ah, Day wants to join, but you're only 6 million power. My friend, this is going to be a hard kingdom to be in at, at 6 million power. You want to stay in the kingdom you're in. Um, Samuel V, we've already done a lot of spinning. We have one more five spot to do. We have one more five spot to do. All right. Killer Alon is saying 12 million power and 40 million kills. That is a pretty solid number of kills. I feel like the time to have gotten just crazy amounts of kills is at the start of a kingdom's life. Like, man, you could have done so much work when everybody didn't know how to play the game. But now there's so much content out that, like, people know what they're doing. <laughs> people know what they're doing and, and can learn what they're doing. I mean, when I started playing this game, there was no... There were no tremendous videos explaining how stuff worked. Um, Shinchi was the, the first YouTuber I watched for this game, and he was covering some stuff. Um, actually, technically, he was the second YouTuber I watched. The first was um, a channel, Mobile Gamer, uh, and that's because I was playing Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, and he covered it on that channel. That is no longer a game that I play. No longer a game that I play. Too Late to the Party... You want to max con as your first priority? Um, you know, right now, my first priority is actually Saladin. That's going to be my first priority. From there, it'll probably be con. From there, it'll probably be con. Um, Saladin just seems too good. He seems too good. We're focused on getting the unlock in particular. I don't particularly care if I get huge amounts of sculptures of Saladin, as weird as that sounds. But I do really need to get the 10 to unlock him, right? Like, I can work with that if I get the 10 at least. Um, I've got into this game because of Echo and then found you and have been hooked since. Nice, Drixen. Yeah, I really enjoy Echo's content as well. I enjoy Echo's content. At some point, he and I are going to be probably exploring... Diablo, whenever that hits mobile apps, that'll be a thing we look at. All right, now everybody runs over. Let's get our five spot. Hook Fleisch up with Justice real quick. Bada boom. There we go. Okay. Okay. We get a ton of experience doing this. I probably need to drop some levels into some commanders. Let's see here. Yeah, I mean... Okay, cool. He hasn't leveled up yet. All right, we're good. We're good. What's the best thing to buy with $10? 30-day gem supply. That is the best value for 10 bucks, for sure. Here we go. Final five-spot spin. Interestingly, the free spin and the 50% off spin did not count toward today's chances, but they did count toward my extra rewards, which is pretty cool. That's pretty sweet. Let's get this five spot going. What do we got? Final spin. Oh no, building speed ups our luck has run out. Genghis Khan. And hey, the 15 hour speed ups. Okay. Oh no, building speed ups. Why? <laughs> Wood. All right, well, we went in like a lion and out like a lamb. <laughs> Uh, 62 spins toward the 100 that we need. Like I said, if you're limited on your spins, you're really going to want to wait until uh, a day or two to see if the More Than Gems event hits. Let's go now and summon this commander. Let's summon this commander. Here we go. Genghis Khan. Boom. 
born in Temujun. I don't have no clue where that is. Cool. Central Asia, China, they did stuff. We'll read it later. Let's get a look at the skills. We're up to 77 general sculpts. We're not going to use them here. We are going to upgrade that first skill once and twice. Awesome. Awesome. And we really want to max, I think, these first two skills probably, probably before we start investing in them further. <laughs> How do you make so much money that you can spend on the game? Stay in school, my friends. Stay in school. If you, uh, <laughs> if you are already out of school, past the point where getting good grades is an option, learn to code, in my opinion. Assuming you like it, learn to code. Anyways, um, so there we go. Genghis Khan. Now, we should have an option. There it is. To buy Writer of History. We're definitely going to pick that up when we're off camera and my name is not showing. Awesome. Awesome. Don't want to flash my credit card information on the screen. Killer Alon got three times the 15-hour speed up. Wow. Wow. That's a nice free spot. That's a nice free spin. Um, there's bigger players than Chiss. Oh, yeah, dude, I'm not... I'm a pretty moderate spender. I'm a pretty moderate spender. Let's do this. Where's Hella? Do you think she's over here? No, I know where Hella is. Dude, Hella has been killing it with the kingdom title distribution. Absolutely killing it. Let's hook her up so that she can help distribute potentially. Um, sweet, we did the stuff that I wanted to do. Let's talk about builds for a second, because we can. Um, let's talk about builds and pairings. So Genghis Khan, looking at the talents, the versatility tree is just a, a serious nothing burger. There's nothing here at all. I mean, like, you're not using this commander for these things as the primary. I mean, I guess you could reduce the AP cost. I guess you could reduce the AP cost, but I just don't know how important that is to you. And, like, this is for defending your city. This is not going to be your primary garrison commander. So what are we doing here? So what I recommend for this commander is slam dunk, hands down. You want the skill tree all the way. Skill tree all the way, and then pick up Undying Fury, grab Cavalry March Speed over here, maybe over here, over here. Um, alternatively, you could do like I've done with Minamoto. And you could do a build like this. This is a build I really like. I probably would actually take these points out of Disarm and I'd drop them all into Naked Rage and then this point out of here and put in, it into Naked Rage as well. This is the build I would use. This is the build I would be using. Um, and you really want to max his damage. I mean, this guy's all about raw damage. And I would pair this commander probably with Cao Cao because um, Cao Cao's got some Rage gem. The problem is that right now I would need Cao Cao to be the primary commander, which is not what I want. I really want the skill tree. So I don't know what I'm going to do until I level this guy up to make him the primary. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Samuel V says, what's more important, your technology or your setup for rallying cities? I mean, they're both really, really crucial. Your tech is going to make you good no matter what. And then your setup, your commanders, the talents that are on them, that's going to be a huge differentiator. Um, and like, you really want to be using the right commanders for that. You really want to be using the right commander side. Here's our Freddy. He's looking pretty good. He's looking pretty good, but he's going to be on pause while we work on other commanders. He is going to be on pause. All right, what else do we need to talk about with talent? See, the challenge with Mina is he's got the mobility tree, which, like, that's not really... I mean, like, I guess... I guess what we could do here... Like, time management is the exact same thing that's happening over here with the skill on Genghis Khan. It's doing the exact same thing really fast when you're out of combat. I mean, I guess we could use Genghis Khan as the secondary to Tao Tao. That could be a thing, right? Like, we could do that. It wouldn't be the worst. That might be our starting point. 
right? But then the question becomes who we're going to use Minamoto with, and I guess Minamoto will be paired with Saladin. That seems like a fine pairing. The Rage Gen. Yeah, eventually we want Saladin to be the primary. Eventually we want Saladin to be the primary in that configuration. Khan is a glass cannon. I mean, the double strike is just bananas. The double strike is completely bananas. Let's open these, crack this. Let's open some gold chests while we wait. We got three minutes to open some gold chests. So here we go. Free gold chest? Pff, cool. Whoa! I got excited and then I realized I already have them expertise. <laughs> well, well, what are you going to do? We're in Kingdom 51. Kingdom 51 here. Kingdom 51. I mean, I'm pretty pumped about getting a Martel. Hopefully I can trade those sculptures into something useful. We know that's coming eventually. We know that's coming eventually. For now, let's open more gold keys. Three Herman. We don't have Herman's expertise skill yet, so that's not so bad. Five buy bars. Uh, we don't have him expertise yet, so that's good. This is a nothing burger. How many Richard wheels will there be in a kingdom? We've had three total Richard wheels. We had three total Richard wheels. Do I think we'll get a gem spend event soon? We might. We haven't had one in a while. I can't say I can really predict it, though, to be perfectly honest. I can't say that I can predict it. In the meantime, we'll open up a few more of these. Hey, full buy bars. I think we could put another skill on buy bars. We should definitely check that out. That is possible. That is possible. Let's get a look. Bulgy Mundok, do we have him expertise yet? I don't think we do. Oh, hold on. Free silver chest. We gotta, we gotta get that timer cooling off here. Um, okay, well, it's a silver chest. It's about what I would expect. Let's get a look here. Let's get a look. What do we got? Um, nothing to do there. Buy bars? New skill. Sweet. Oh, <laughs> exaxes. Okay. Um, do we care where it goes? I guess... Great Panther is where we want it. Sure, city hitting. Doesn't really matter. We're going to expertise him soon enough. Look at this. I mean, we can expertise literally any commander that hits the board for epics. We could, we could expertise two of them, honestly. We're getting to a point, though, where we're going to have so many legendary commanders. Like, I wonder to what extent we even use epics. Is that weird to say out loud? That's... Uh, we've spent... Maybe too much money. We spent maybe too much money. My favorite legendary? Um, Yi Song Ye, for sure, for the Circle AoE. For sure. My least favorite legendary? Hmm. I mean, I, I'm only going to evaluate the ones I'm using. Of the ones that I'm using, I don't know what I would say my least favorite is. Hmm. I guess it might be Tsao Tsao. Will be my least favorite of these legendaries. These six legendaries. Uh, hold on. Let's see here. How are we doing on this? Is everybody here? Cool. One minute. Oh, I'm the slowpoke. Okay. Oh, Kuruma's the slowpoke. <laughs> okay, cool. Two minutes. Two minutes for the shrine group. Two minutes. Here we go. Two men shrine group. Boom. What do we got here? More gifts? Cool. Cool. We've been pulling down, I think, like, I want to say, like, t close to two blue crystal chests a day, which is kind of nuts. Which is kind of nuts. It's if it's not if it's not two, it's very close to two blue crystal chests a day. Which seems kind of insane to me. Frankly. It seems kind of insane. Drop some more bucks into that. Bada boom. 
Who should I pair Boudica with? Anyone you want. That's the dream with Boudica. You can pair her with literally anyone. Haven't killed these types of guardians in ages? Well, you're missing out. You're super missing out. Let's just, I mean, look at all this experience. This is 30k, 20k, 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 30k, 20k. I mean, like, this is so much experience. This is so much experience. I'm just saying, like, send five armies. That's ten commanders getting experience. It's insane. It is insane. It's completely insane. Are we here yet? 40 seconds. Okay, we'll say going soon. Going when... Karuma here, 20S. Okay. Yeah, these guys are good. The Lost Temple ones are better, but these guys are great. Um, Killer Alon says, Chisquil, I'm glad you put time into the game and not just spend and spend and then log every now and then like most whales. I mean, we take this pretty seriously, right? We're playing this game pretty seriously. We're playing it pretty seriously. With that said, Shrine Group, let's roll. Let's roll. Here we go. Bada boom. Um, what do you know about Karak star mounting and ending 12 hours later? Yeah, we got hit by that problem. Our Karak started and 12 hours later it ended. So, um, hopefully they give our kingdoms Karak ceremony again really, really soon. Uh, so that we can just do it all over again. That would be my hope. I don't know what they're going to do, though. Um, they sent a mail with some goodies to everybody who had this problem, but it, it I mean, it's um, a fraction of what you would have gotten as a reward for actually completing Karak Ceremony. So I don't know what their intention is there. Um, I would imagine it's just a holdover. I would imagine it's just a holdover. Freddy and Osman. I think it's a fine combo. But not amazing. What Freddy and Osman both want the same thing. They want someone that amplifies their damage, and they want someone that gives them rage. So the problem with Freddy and Osman. Wait, am I thinking? Am I, yeah, I am thinking of the right one, right? Osman. Osman the epic. Yeah, okay. The problem with Freddy and Osman is they both do big damage, but they both want someone paired with them that supports doing more damage. So, in my opinion. You should be pairing Freddy and Osman with commanders like Yi Song Ye or Sun Tzu or a rage generator like Boudica or Herman or who else generates rage? Pelagius generates rage. Those are all the kind of pairings that I think would be really good. Um, something that amplifies those guys that have the raw damage numbers but don't have any of the other perks that you might get on a commander. All right, we're dropping these guys pretty darn quickly. And so you can see, uh, this run used to give 2.5 million experience doing the Temple Guardians and then the three um, Shrine Guardian sets. I think now... What would the total experience be? It's about 600,000. So it's about three... Uh, we'll say it's about three and a half million experience. Technically, it's like 3.6 million experience doing this run. Oh, wait a minute. No, I did that wrong. No, I did that right. 3.6 million experience. Yeah. Maybe I did that right? No, if I had three armies before... Yeah, okay. It's about that. We're close enough. Now, this is going to be weird. I wasn't paying attention, and they moved. Which one are we hitting? That one. Okay. I probably should have paused my army to give everybody a chance to catch up. I feel like someone must have a full army here, though. Because they're dying faster than they should. We'll have to check that out later. All right, stream, what questions do you have before we wrap this up today? What do you got? What do you got? We have a really important video going live probably tomorrow. 
I had meant for it to go live today. Hasn't happened. What do you got for questions? We have daily gathering at the same time as this kill event. It's going to be fun. Hmm, that is going to be fun. But something I don't get, when we fight a battle, we don't, why we only lose power, we don't win anything. That is because when you have troops get injured, you lose power. The assumption is that you may not get them back. They go to your hospital. When you heal them up again, you get power again. Why are we leaving so soon? I mean, did I do that too soon? No. Cool. They're all dead, right? Yes. Cool. Is this an, an experience rune? It totally is. Let's have a, one of our fastest guys grab that. We'll drop this in here. Who's the best gatherer and why? Um, the best is, well, I was going to say Joan of Arc. It, it might be... I was going to say Joan of Arc, but it might be um, Cleo. It might be Cleo. It might be Cleo. All right, send this guy back over now that we got that experience rune. And you can see, like, so much experience. Okay. Um, use Universal Con Sculptures on Genghis Khan or Isong Ye. I'm going... Oh, wow, that's an interesting choice. I really like Yi Song Ye, personally. I think Yi Song Ye is more flexible as a commander. You should check out my legendary commander tier list for the answer to that one. Um, Yi Song Ye does a couple things. First of all, these skills are just really good in a lot of situations. Yi Song Ye is a beast in Ark of Osiris. Defending structures, attacking structures in the open field. I really like that. Pretty, pretty tremendous for that role. Here we go. Extra talent point. We get to drop in over here. Bada boom. I mean, like, I don't even know why... <laughs> I don't even know why I'm leveling up this commander. I guess occasionally I use this army to go gather runes. So I'm... I have my commander so leveled up, I'm working on a rune-gathering commander. The reason I'm not doing Julius Caesar, the reason I'm not doing El Cid or Mehmed, is because I really feel like these skills need to get maxed out before I level them up further. Plus, like, I just don't have the stars to level up that many legendaries anyways. What does garrison capacity mean, and how does it affect defense and offense? Garrison capacity... Garrison capacity... Let's we'll get these guys healing. Um, if you go to your Alliance Center, and you can see your reinforcement capacity, that's what that is. It's the number of players that can come reinforce your city, the number of troops that can reinforce your city at any time. What do you think about Scipio and Julius Caesar? I think it's an okay pairing. Um, I think you could do better, though, because Julius Caesar is increasing attack um, and, and damage, and so I think you're better off. You're better off with a commander that really wants their attack to be elevated, like Yi Song Ye, like... Uh, well, Yi Song Ye is not the best pairing with him either. Um, like Frederick. Frederick would be a good example of a commander that just eats up all that extra damage boost and takes huge advantage of that. Takes huge advantage of that. Where am I for my travels? Where am I? For, right now we're in Hong Kong. Right now we're in Hong Kong. We are 12 hours time shifted. It's pretty nuts. It is pretty nuts. Second group cavalry commanders in Ark of Osiris. We got to speed up more cavalry, honestly. We're going to have to speed up more cavalry. Um, we've got a pretty balanced distribution. We're maybe overweighted right now for infantry. Hey, Tomas, thank you for the $2 super chat. Much appreciated. Um, Bruno is saying, check out Kingdom 50. What am I looking at in Kingdom 50? What am I looking for? Can I explain more the skill tree of Bud Boudica? Um, sure. We can get a look at that. We can get a look at that. Ooh, Cleo. Cool. We're really close to getting Cleo's expertise skill, by the way. We might just open gold keys 
to get that rolling. 12 hours into the future. Please read my future. Am I saving training speedups for the KVK event? Um, honestly, I'm saving my training speedups for Saladin. I'm currently saving my training speedups for Saladin. I feel a little weird about it because normally I would probably not go for Saladin in the first time that he becomes available. But, like, I'm a content creator, so I need to be able to create the content with Saladin. So... I think we're going to have to go for him. Um, let's just answer the question about the skill tree really quickly. Skill tree is really good for two things. And we'll even use Boudica. Skill tree is really good for two things. First of all, well, okay, we'll say three. First, burning blood, rage generation, really, really good. Second, rejuvenate, really, really good. This is what you go for if you are limited on talent points. Then lastly, Feral Nature, even more Rage. And this is if you're going all in on a Rage generation engine. The other thing that you can get here is Latent Power, which is additional skill damage, and then Naked Rage, which is skill damage dealt. Those are both also really, really strong. That's pretty much everything you need to know about the skill tree. Um, it's all about making a Rage generation engine that you break. You break it by having skills that also generate rage. So for instance, um, every time Boudica uses a skill, she generates 50 rage, right? And then Rejuvenate makes it so that every time you use skills, you generate even more rage. So that's how you get completely out of hand rage generation. Question in the chat um, saying I give good advice. Thank you for that. Uh, where can you pair Sun Tzu? So Sun Tzu is really interesting because he only sort of cares about infantry. I would not hesitate to pair this commander with uh, armies that have stuff other than infantry. Do not hesitate to put this commander with, as a secondary commander, with other commanders that, that care more about infantry. Um, you want to pair him with someone that does a lot of damage, and he's got a rage generation engine. So, I mean, honestly, honestly, you could pair, you could pair with Minamoto, and I think that would be fine. You could pair with Yi Song Ye, that would be fine. Frederick is a great pairing. Caesar's okay as a pairing. Um, who else would be really good? El Cid, I guess, would be fine. You're probably wondering at the epic tier. Boudica's really good. I think CPO's anti synergy. Kusunoki would be fine. Um, Osman would be great. That would be a great pairing. Bybars would be fine. Pelagius would be fine. Herman would be fine. Ulji Mundok's a great pairing. I mean, you just have a lot of options here with Sun Tzu. Hard to go wrong. Hard to go wrong. These guys are going to keep walking. What do I think about Bybars as a primary with Belisarius? It's secondary. It's great. Run around a mighty governor killing people. You're going to be hard to catch if you're killing farmers. Um, I guess if you really wanted to kill farmers, Belisarius needed to be the primary for that. Why Lancelot as fast rune-getting commander? I use Dragon Lancer primary with Lancelot secondary, and that's because often I'm leading rallies with my Minamoto and my Tsao Tsao. Um, let's see. Something that I was worried if there might be a Game of Thrones spoiler in there. There's not. Um, what do you think about Ulji and Charles? What do I think about Ulji and Charles? They're a great combo. I like Ulji Mundok with Charles a lot. I like that a lot. Catching up on the chat here. Who should I pair? Okay. We covered Sun Tzu. Hello, Chisco. Would the VIP 13 and 14 chest worth it still if my castle's already level 25? I bought them. I bought them, even though my castle was 25. I did it. Do I have an example of how to build Osman? Um, I don't know that I do. Should we just build Osman? Should we just do it? Ooh, we can do a skill on him. Sweet. Troop capacity. Solid. Okay. Um, what would we do with him? Here's what I would do. I'll tell you exactly what I would do. Now I know. We want to make a rage generation engine with this commander. We want to go rejuvenate 
Feral Nature, probably get Naked Rage for the extra damage, but more important than that is to get Strategic Prowess. Um, after using a skill, increase troop defense. So you make that Rage Generation engine, and then you get this extra perk for generating tons of Rage. That seems really, really strong to me. That's the route I would go. That's the route I would go. Um, now, we've got limited talent points to pull something like that off. Um, so I would start with Rejuvenate, then Feral Nature, then Hidden Wrath. If you had some extra points, you could go to Fresh Recruits, but I don't know that I would prioritize that over Naked Rage. How's that for putting together a build? Speedy and efficient, right? Speedy and efficient. How are these guys doing? We got a little time. Let's keep opening some gold keys. Someone in Kingdom Chat. What was that green thing? Oh, maybe that was just me moving an army. Somehow I just sent my army back home. The perks of unrestricted troop movement. <laughs> okay, we fixed it. We fixed it. All right, do we have a request for general? That's legion. General? Um, I can't offer that right now because general's in use by someone giving out titles. Can't do that right now. What we can do is crank open some more chess. I think we might be able to expertise Cleo. If we get really lucky with these keys, we could expertise Cleo. I don't know that I want to actually expertise her on the stream. Like, I feel like that deserves its own video. But let's see if we can at least get the sculptures. I was saving these in case they released a new legendary commander, but I feel like they just released legendary commanders, and they didn't come in gold keys, so I'm not too concerned about that. Do you know how to complete the last achievement of the adventurer path? I'll have to get a look at that. Do you think a 5-1-1-1 Minamoto is better than a Max Pelagius? I think your Max Pelagius might be better. I think your Max Pelagius might be better. I guess it depends on what you're doing. If you're battling barbarians, then I mean, the Minamoto is pretty good. Generally, I'd say that a 5-3-1-1 Legendary is needed to be better than an Expertise Epic. <laughs> Full Tao Tao. The funny thing is that we've got Tao Tao expertise already, so hopefully we have a place to put those sculptures at some point. This is why we're sort of waiting to use our gold keys for when they come out with some new commanders. Am I going for 150 spins? Um, it's actually, we can do 180 spins, I think. We might do all 180. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We might be more patient than that and not do that many spins. What do I think is the best pairing for city defense? Uh, you know, happy to talk about that. Five sculptures of Mehmed is really good. Five sculptures of Mehmed is really great. Um, okay. So normally we use Martel with Yi Song Ye. And I really like that pairing. It, uh, Martel elevates the damage of Yi Song Ye even further with the first skill. Um, which I really, really like. And Yi Song Ye gives us AoE coverage. The other commander I think is really good is Martel and Richard I. Um, that, those pairings, I think, are some of the very best you can do. Those are some of the very best I think you can do. Now, how are we looking here? Two minutes for the Shrine group. Two minutes. And on it, we need to raise our migration cap for a moment. Bada boom. Let's take care of that. Migration cap. Done. All right. Feeling pretty good. You should hold 200 gold keys to get the achievement. Well, Caster Troy. If you saw my last live stream, if you can believe it, we had saved up 250 gold keys and we cranked all of them, literally every single one. So, uh, yeah, we have the achievement.
for 200 gold keys all at once. We did it. We got some really good stuff, by the way. Like, this round, we keep getting things that we already have expertise. But we did not get a lot of sculptures of stuff we had expertise. It was really quite exceptional the last time we did that. Which is best to pair with Minamoto? Should I care about Khan? Saladin is probably out of reach. Or just focus on Sao Tsao. He's at 5131. Is Sao Tsao 5131 better than Expertise, Bel Belisarius, or Bybars? Yes. 5131 Sao Tsao is good to go, baby. You are, you are clearly in the range where the legendary is better. 5131. You are clearly in the range where the legendary is better. So Minotau is a great pairing. Stick with that. Stick with that. Okay. Ooh, it's time to go. Go time. Go time, shine, group. Here we go. Bada boom. Give a little emoji. Follow me. All right. Would Saladin Sao and Genghis Mina be the way to go, or would you swap it? What's what's the best pairing? What's the absolute best pairing? I think the single best pairing is probably Saladin. Oh, we got to look at this. We got to look at this more closely. See, the problem is there's a march speed reduction here, and that's not going to stack with Saladin's march speed reduction. So what do I think is the best? Um, sure, we'll go this way. So it's not going to stack, and I think you want to have Saladin as a primary. So I think Saladin Minamoto, well, actually, I feel like Saladin Khan would just be insane, right? You really want Khan to be a primary, though. But Saladin, Saladin Khan would be just completely nuts. Like, would that be the very best combination? I'm just thinking about the rage generation, right? If you pair Saladin as the primary, he's going to have Rejuvenate as a skill that generates a ton of rage. And then Khan as the secondary is going to reduce the rage requirement as well. It doesn't take advantage of the fact that he has a 50 lower rage first skill. It doesn't take advantage of that. So who elevates damage the most, though? Who elevates damage the most? This doesn't increase our attack. Increases our march speed. Right? And this is an attack reduction. And if we go down to the Saladin real quick, this is increasing our attack and defense. Hmm. Um, skill damage taken. This is march speed reduction. So... Oh, wow, we got there way too fast. We got there way too fast. How are we so darn fast? I got to pay closer attention. Sorry, fam. So I think, I think the best pairings, I think the best combinations of pairings are going to be Saladin with Minamoto, I gotta make sure everybody follows me. That's gonna be awkward. Um, I think it's gonna be Saladin with Minamoto. And, hmm. And then Khan with Cao Cao. And the reason I think that is because the march speed reduction is not going to stack from Cao Cao and Saladin. 
that doesn't stack. So I think that ends up being the best pairings. Um, that's the way I would do it. That way you have two really great armies. You might be able to create one single better army otherwise. See, we got a march speed rune maybe to get back faster. Healing speed? No. What do we got here? Oh, 10% XP gain. All right, well, no good runes. Whatever. All right. That's probably what I would do. Because, see, that march speed is just not going to combine. The, the thing that's kind of a bummer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm convinced. I've convinced myself. The correct pairings are Khan with Cao Cao's secondary because this expertise skill is going to increase the attack even more. That's the way you do it. That is the way you do it. Hands down. Khan, Cao Cao, and then Saladin with Minamoto. That's the way you do it. Who will I pair Sepio with? I don't know. I got to train a ton of cavalry. I got a lot of cavalry I need to train. I got a lot of cavalry I need to train. Oy vey. Did we miss one of these guardians? Maybe. I don't know. Okay. Let's just look at our commanders. Did anybody level up from that? Getting close on Freddy. Um, by the way, the Osman build I shared earlier is the same one that I would put on Freddy. For sure. I do the same thing. Hands down. Easy epic sculptures. How do you get them? Holiday events are how I got a lot of mine. The other way you can get them would be um, just doing your daily quests. Just doing the daily quests. All right, my friends. This has been fun. We're going to head out for now. Did you miss the spinning, Jalal? Yes, you did. We did a lot of spinning. We ended up with uh, 34 sculptures of Khan, which is pretty good. Which is pretty good. Got a lot of goodies. We're converting gems into stuff that we can actually use, which is really great. And we're going to spin this thing tomorrow. This video is going to post right afterwards, so you can check it out. No worries. No worries. You can see it right away. All right, my friends. We're going to head out for now. This was fun. This was fun. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed watching. And until next time, you have fun smashing the kingdom.